Hey guys, how's it going? John and Susie here, and we are that little blogging couple that loves to figure out the best tools for you to overcome writer's block, create better content, and sell more products online. Say hello, Susie. Hey guys! Well, John kind of discovers all the tools, and then he tells me to use them. So this is kind of, again, one of those cool videos where he has an awesome new tool. I've looked at it, but I haven't deep dove into it. All right, so let's set the premise here. <laughs> so if you write anything online, anything. from emails to blog posts to YouTube descriptions to sales pages, anything, you've probably struggled with writer's block. I know I have. Yeah. Have you? Oh, yeah. That's my block. Yeah, that's my <laughs> block. That's writer's block, yeah. <laughs> so the tool in today's video is promising to eliminate writer's block and also save you a ton of time and a ton of money compared to hiring out to expensive copywriters. Okay. I've used this tool just a little bit, but in this video, I want to take on an entire persona of a new business. We're going to be a company who wants to travel as a family because hint, hint, we want to go traveling a bit more with our family. And so we're going to do some copywriting around sales letters, blog post topics, all of that. And let's see how conversion AI does. Are you yeah. excited? Yes. It's for our future business. Just FYI to be personal here. Always growing. We do want to grow this business. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So before we dive into the actual tool, let's talk about it for just a second here. So this is conversion AI. And if you're interested in giving this a try, there is a current deal right now. If you click on the link that's in the description down below or go to incomemesh.com slash conversion, you can get an additional 10,000 credits. We'll talk about how that works in a second um, for no additional price, right? So the way this works is it's going to supposedly supercharge your copywriting. It's, it looks fantastic. And um, they charge you by the word, which is pretty unique. So we're going to Take a look at how all this works. There's tons of benefits, tons of information here on this page. Um, also, nice design. So let's waste no time because this might be a longer video. Let's dive into the tool. All right. Once you create your account, again, link down below. So you're saying below. this thing writes copy for me? Yeah. So they have a guy named Jarvis. It's not an intern. It's an AI robot. Jarvis. Kind of like, yeah, Jarvis. Like It's kind of like Ask Jeeves back in the day, right? Yeah. Wasn't well, Jarvis the butler? No, Jarvis. From... Jarvis is the, the robot guy inside of Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's where right, Jarvis Surprise is. Surprise it's not copyrighted. Superheroes. So it might change once enough copyright, once Marvel finds out. <laughs> but until then, it's Jarvis, and he's going to write some copy for us. All right? So with our fictitious um, fictitious business here, let's go ahead and start out blogging. Right? Blogging is really a great place to get started. Low risk. We teach a lot of bloggers. I blog. We love it. And look here. So we're going to supercharge our copywriting. We're going to come down here and they have a bunch of templates. These are all skills. So this isn't just like a plug and play where they're going to tell you what to write, not fill in the blank. It's actually, let's just walk through this together. We're going to go into the blog so area. Excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm so stoked. <laughs> so Susie, you're a professional blogger. Yes. What's the first thing that new bloggers struggle with when it comes to creating content? blog post ideas, and then from there, blog post outline. Perfect. Well, let's do exactly that. So we're going to start out by explaining our business to Jarvis. He's going to give us some topics on what to blog about. We're going to take those topics and plug them into a blog post outline. Sweet. Let's do it. All right. So our company name here is going to be called Born to Go. Because we're born to go places. To our home <laughs> office and then downstairs to the kitchen. All right. And so what is the description of the product this business is going to have? Uh, we'll probably slow down or we'll speed through this real fast. I'll write some copy right here for you in just a second. Okay. I'm <laughs> glad Susie's having fun. I put something down here. <laughs> Um, so basically, I'm trying to give a general idea of a fictitious course. 12 module online course teaches fam full time families how to travel while homeschooling their kids. The course comes with lifetime access and helps anyone learn the joy of travel, how to find campsites, the best RVs to purchase, and more. Haven't done this yet. We'll see what it comes up with. All right. Um, so our audience here is going to be oh, cool. Moms. Mom <laughs> Bitcoin holders. Moms. So we'll call this families. Uh, well, just families with small children. Let's see what happens yeah. there. And then tone of voice, I would love to be witty in my life. I'm not. So we're going to say witty here. And then examples. Train conversion AI with example. Okay, so we could give an example. Let's give it no examples yet. We can also choose how many outputs come in, uh, or come back from this process. And let's go ahead and click the button here. You want to do a... No, four is great. Let's four start is great. Four. Yeah. Let's so we're going to uh, create some content here. Ooh, cool. And right here, I'm going to move my face. Our faces, sorry. Oh, those are perfect. Like, as I've been teaching blogging and so on, those are really good keywords to go after without even knowing that you're targeting those keywords. So those are really good tips. That's pretty good. 
So if you like any of these, there's a little star button here. We can add it to our favorites. Or what you could do, let's see, 11 ideas for how to save money on your next family vacation. That's, that's honestly perfect for what we did. Yeah. And I didn't mention vacation anywhere in here. I didn't even... And so it's kind of off because it's not really yeah. a vacation we're planning, but it, it's actually using AI, right? It's not just plugging in the words you say into the output. It's actually thinking. It's kind of creepy, honestly. So what we're going to do next... So Susie mentioned uh, ideas and then outline, right? Yeah. So let's follow down this rabbit trail. Okay, cool. We'll copy this to the clipboard. I like that. We'll come back to our templates. Now that we have a blog post idea, let's get an outline for let's it. Let's do it. All right. We'll come into blog post outline, blog post title. We got that already. It's from a previous thing I was playing with. Tone of voice. Again, I love to be witty. An optional output a, a, a language. We'll keep that keep off. Yeah. English. <laughs> and let's again go to four out. Well, let's do three outputs because outlines are probably a little bit longer. And let's generate. Look at how crazy this is, guys. You could literally create list full list of topics and then with a click of a button hopefully we're gonna have an output here okay look at this it gave us seven wow it's like pre-writing the list for yeah. you so let's just take a look at the top one here uh, make a something about no airbnb i thought austin sleep in tents or rent an rv instead of staying at a hotel so Sorry. check that out in the previous like when we were filling out the the topic ideas we mentioned RVing, but it didn't say anything about RVing in the answer. Now it's bringing it back in yeah. on this output. So it's actually processing a lot of this stuff here. It's really cool. And you can take that and tweak it. I mean, you can probably mix and match a couple of those outlines together, put it in your own words. But here it's done like 80% of the word work for you. Now you just have to go put that in your blog post, fill it out, and then you have a post written. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What I would do is I would probably copy some, one of the ones that I like. Go to a notepad or Microsoft Word or something, paste them in, and then these become your headers of your listicle. If you're going to write a list post, boom. Obviously, make sure it's, it's accurate. There's AI. There's going to be some hit, hits and misses. Uh, but that's a huge, huge time saver there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we covered blog post topics, blog post outlines. Some content. What about selling stuff? Ooh, we'll get yeah. there. Okay. I want to do a couple more blog ones because I'm really ex <laughs> personally, like, selfishly, I'm excited about this one. I struggle when I'm writing a blog post on like, how do you open this whole thing up? How do you get started? How do you do the intro paragraph? Because honestly, if they don't read your intro paragraph, it doesn't matter the 2000 words that follow it. So I want to figure out how to write a more witty and like a hooking um, intro paragraph. Let's try to figure that out. Keep them on the page. Keep them on the page. So I'm going to copy the blog post idea. That might be useful. Let's come back down to blog post intro paragraph. And then, okay, so born to go. Audience is uh, families with small children. Blog post title, I'll paste it in. And tone of voice, Gosh. casual. Let's try a different tone of voice because, you know, one day I'll become witty. And we're going to click the button. Write for me, Jarvis. I'm so enjoying this. <laughs> When my family and I were planning our last vacation, we knew that we wanted to go somewhere warm. And we also had a budget of 2000 not including Infracross. That, wow, that's really cool. You just have to make sure that this actually applies to you. Otherwise, Jarvis is now you. Right, but okay, that's a, a fictitious story. But the yeah. next one here looks like it's going a, a bit different direction. When you're trying to figure out how to save oh. money on your next family vacation, it can feel like an overwhelming task. Fortunately, we have a number of ideas that will help you keep costs down without sacrificing oh, the experience. Oh, that's perfect. Which is literally like the perfect yeah. first couple of sentences for that blog post. That's really good. It kind of gets you started. If you're stuck, you're like, you don't know how to write that first sentence, get this, and then you have the outline and you're almost done. Wow. And now you can truly see why choosing a couple of different outputs is a good idea because this is AI. There's going to be some that are right on point, some that are a little bit off. So it's it's pretty cool they give you the option to like let Jarvis do some work for you and, and find the right idea. Okay, so we did a lot of that. There's more blogging stuff we could do, but let's I think we'll probably move on to the next one. You mentioned being able to sell content as yes, well, right? Yes, sell so, stuff. All right, so Jarvis has us covered here as well, it looks like. I'm going to look down here. Now, when it comes to writing sales copy, slightly different. There are some frameworks that are used the two I want to check out here is the AIDA. That stands for Attention, Interest, Desire, and Action. So we'll click on this. And let me just remove that. And so our product name is going to be Travel Hacking as a Family. And you can also, if you have a team of writers, you can let them use this tool so that maybe you can ask less for an article because now they can generate some of the article here. 
Um, you can definitely, if you already have a team, have them use this tool. It's yep, so handy. we're going to go ahead and speed this up real fast so I can put some uh, example copy. You can see here they give you 400 characters to explain your product. So this is not meant for you to sell your product to Jarvis. It's just giving enough for the AI to go out and learn what to do and then give you a good output. So I'm going to go ahead and think a little bit and put this in. And time. <laughs> okay, so I gave it a little bit of description there. You can read it if you'd like. And our tone of voice here. Let's do motivational. And what I did with this tool earlier was I already have my sales pages created. Um, but I took a paragraph from my sales page that kind of already pre-filled in the 400 characters there. And I just want to see what this tool would tell me. Like, what additional can I add to my sales page to beef it up a little bit? So even if you already have a blog post created or a sales page creator, you can use this tool to generate more content and to improve it. That's awesome. They actually have a content improver skill that's cool. designed exactly for that. So let's go ahead and generate some AI content on this one. I'm really having a lot of fun here. This is pretty cool. Okay, so now we have, and what's cool about this, and you AIDA, it actually tells you what's for each portion, portion of that like framework. So attention, you can travel the world with your family and save thousands of dollars per year. That's a pretty good headline. Cool. Interest. We're going to teach you how to do it with over 20 years of experience in traveling. I love how they just like pull this numbers out it's like, of well, there. yeah, I want to sign up for this course. <laughs> we know what works and what doesn't work. Our course is designed for beginners who want to start traveling as a family but don't know where to begin. How it do will, you do that? Right? It will help you find the right RV for your needs, plan an itinerary that fits into your schedule, and save money on gas, food, accommodations, and more. I didn't say all that. No, you it, didn't. <laughs> action. Click this ad now if you want us to show you how easy it is. That's like, pretty cool. I would click. Obviously, I'm interested in this topic, but yeah. I would click. And so you've got more you can look at, and each one's a little bit different. You know, traveling with family is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have. That's very different from how to save money. It's, so it allows you to pick a different pain point, pick a different focus, focal point on the messaging. Cool. Super different cool. Different ads, different ad copy. Exactly. Mm. All right, so that is one of the frameworks. I guess I'll skip over the next one, but they also have the, um, what is it, Problem Agitate Solution Framework, PAS. And what Susie was mentioning earlier about taking existing content, putting it in, they actually have the content improver. Cool. So you could go to your own sales page, put in the content up to 400 characters, so probably like a paragraph or two, yeah. and then let it kick out something and just give you some ideas. Like, hey, could this be improved? Because wow. oftentimes you go and you'll spend $10,000 on a copywriter after you already have your sales page and say, hey, can you make this convert a little bit better? Yeah. And if it can increase your conversion rates by a couple of percentage points, oh. it's a no-brainer to yeah. spend that money here. Definitely. It's crazy. Especially because I, I so rarely get really creative times in my life. Like, when <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. The like, truth. It's a lot of times, like, I'm just, I don't feel like writing. I don't feel like the ideas are coming. I'm tired. Something else is stressing me out. So, like, when that creativity hits, I try to, like, really tap into it. But most of the time, it's not there. So having something like this to help me when I'm just having this dry spell is super helpful. Yeah, it's almost like as soon as you pick up on a scent, you're ready to go and create your sales page. But sometimes you're just – you don't have that spark yet. And I think Jarvis could be that spark where you could just yeah. – you give it an idea like, hey, bland copy. Like, this is what I want. And then it gives you four ideas. Yeah. One of them's going to, like, start your engines and then you'll be ready to go. Ooh, come sparky. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, last thing I want to try because email marketing is important no matter what your business is. Uh, where Persuasive is... bullet points? Oh, okay, let's cool. let's try that. Per... One more down. One more down. Persuasive bullet points. We love bullet points. All right, company or product name is gonna let's do travel hacking as a family product. Oh man, I should have written Copy this down before. <clears throat> I actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the templates because I think it's gonna save it. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay. Whew. Next time, just, yeah, save your stuff in a little notepad. And then tone of voice, let's do witty as well. Persuasive bullet points. And let's do five bullet points. Five outputs. Oh, yeah, thank you. Which hopefully that would be. Oh, look at that. So we get more than five outputs. Cool. Learn how to... This is pretty cool because this can help you decide what to put in your course. Ooh. Like, what if you are like, oh, I don't have a bonus yet for my course, or it's, it's not as meaty as I want it to be, or I'm thinking about improving my product. Here, Jarvis is giving you the ideas of how to improve your product. That's pretty cool. This is so cool. Find yeah. out why travelers are ditching expensive hotels and booking Airbnbs instead. Cool. Okay, so there's so much happening in this one bullet point. Oh, wow, look at that. So check this out. 
So it's saying find out why they're not doing this, they're doing that instead. It's creating curiosity. It's like pushing all the right buttons of successful copywriting. And it's even bringing in a relevant business. Yeah. Like, I don't know how these guys are doing this. That's this pretty cool. Crazy. And like, if it doesn't apply to you, if it doesn't apply to your course, you can delete it and look at something else. But it definitely, like you said, gets the gears going. Yeah. So anything you see that you like, you can favorite it and it'll be in your, it'll be somewhere in your account. You can find it easily. Um, okay, cool. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. We're going to bore them to death with examples. Well, I'm just enjoying <laughs> it. Okay. So down to like the brass tax. So how much does this cost? This, you know, if this could replace your copywriter, what's it going to cost you? So right now, if you go to incomemesh.com slash, um, uh, conversion links down below, you can get started and it might log me in automatically. Let's go straight to the pricing page. So they charge by the word. Okay. So right now it's 20,000 words generated. So for example, we come back over here and let me just get logged in again. So the content that we created is here. So each one of those words would count towards your monthly allowance. That's kind of how it works. Um, it makes sense. It can slide up. If you're only using it a little bit, um, then you'll be fine. If you have a big project coming in, you might bump your plan up and get a little bit more words for the month. Um, but it's, incredibly oh, 10 team seats that's cool so if you have vas that work for you they can probably use this or an ad agency or whatnot or maybe yeah absolutely and it has a seven day money back guarantee so if any of this was kind of eye-opening to you if you're struggling with writer's block and you know that's the thing that's like preventing you from taking that next step forward give this thing a try you've got seven days risk-free and if you use our affiliate link you also get ten thousand additional words every month so instead of twenty thousand words it's thirty thousand words Yay. for thirty dollars to me, I think that's a no-brainer. I mean, our business is authentically and ethically persuading people to take actions online through smart marketing. And if this can just increase one sales letter's conversion rate, it's going to pay for itself right. all day long. Wow. Even if you're, if you're a VA, if you offer virtual assisting services or content creation services, this would be awesome. Or if you have an ad agency, yeah. you can have your team come in here, get some ideas for their clients. There's so many cool ways to do this. Yeah. And their library is growing. They have a big announcement coming up later on this month. I'm super excited to see what it is. So give it a shot. Conversion AI. Go to incomemesh.com slash conversion. Links all down below. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave us a comment if you like us kind of bantering as we're going through showing you these new tools. We enjoy it. We kind of like each other. We're kind of a thing. But <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take Bye, care. Guys.